you ever seen cloud moving that fast before? I'm back at a spot that I camped a couple of years ago. I did a video from here and the audio was shocking. I had to just put lots of music to the to the video because it's um, it was just so windy. And I'm about as far as I can be from my house. I'm on the southwestern tip of Dartmoor and I live on the northeastern tip. And when I left home this morning it was a gentle breeze, a gentle warm breeze. I'm on the southwestern tip now. I can see a hawk. Um, I'm on the southwestern tip and the wind coming off the Atlantic because Plymouth's just down there. I'm at China Clay Works and I'm headed up the Trailsworthy Tour. But the wind is, is this side of the moor. You know, it's come from the States right across the Atlantic and it's just so exposed. It's, I've never seen the clouds moving so fast. It, it, it's, for me, it's fabulous. It's really great. But I think as far as audio is concerned, you're not going to hear anything today. It's going to be quiet in the tent tonight, but it might be a video of just music and the incredible things that the moor has to offer and I, I I do love the wind though it doesn't make for very good videos um, I am headed up to well, <laughs> I've heard people re refer to it as a block of cheese before I'm headed up towards the bandstand which is a um, a cylindrical block of granite which was carved by the stone carvers and the area that I'm in is is absolutely loaded with uh, incredible granite pieces vermin traps dog kennels like I say the bandstand the bandstand you'll see it on the video it's a cylindrical block of rock that was uh, supposedly made for a flagpole flagpole base I think it's too big for that I, I, I think it's more of a monument base I don't think the audio is going to be any good at all I would try my best but you know that's Dartmoor it's windy normally the audio is really crap it's um, what can you do Look at the crap in the car park. Still, they had their fun. And there's the arrow headstone. I suppose it depends on how you look at it. Look at that. Oh, I love that. There's the double stone row. The 
truck parked over there. This is China Clay Works. Destruction. And those trousers where they tore with the bandstand. I love the bandstand. There is a letterbox here. It's supposed to be one of the best on the moor. I've never found it, so I wish my friend Dave was with me. And we might find it. Because he sees things I don't see. He's a letterboxer. Scout Hut and Ditsworthy Warren and about 15 years ago it's been that long since I've been to a certain waterfall of Shavakam Falls and I'm gonna have a pop in there and I think I was heading up towards Stone Moor but I just think it's um it's just gonna be too much effort wasn't this early on in the journey, I'd be quite tempted to camp here. It's a lovely spot, a lovely spot, loads of car granted. I don't even know if you can hear me, the wind is that bad. There we go, there's Ditsworthy Warren where War Horse was filmed, there's Gutter Tour and the Great Staple Tours and Prince Town's just there. Wow, what I wouldn't give to be in Prince Town now at the Fox Store Cafe having a fry up. And I'm headed towards a waterfall down there. I think I'm gonna camp up there at night. It's just too much effort to get over to Stolden Moor. I'm quite late in the day. I haven't been here for about 15 years, but I can see the. This is great as it's always been.
in that heifer, in her calf. Luckily, she was going to the toilet at the time, but she was looking like she was going to charge me. So luckily, I'm past all that now. There it is, Mentor. Let up and round the back tonight. God, just in time. Rain's coming, bad weather, but it doesn't matter now. It's absolutely lovely in here. Rough old day. Lots of sunshine though. last night very quiet compared to the day very quiet the sun's just peeking its head up over the hill there and the light's coming in the valley, valley and it's saturating the colours, the autumnal colours and the, the yellows and the greens and the reds. I love this time of year. I love the colours that it offers. It's like early spring as well. The best two season for colours. I've got some ponies for company and some banded galloways and Just me and the animals. I keep getting these um, ravens, lots of ravens. Oh yeah, I love that barking noise. Oh, what a difference a day makes. Ooh. Yesterday you could barely stand up in the wind. Today there's not a breath of wind. It's really lovely. Cold this morning, mine. So, I might actually uh, talk about the bandstand again when I get up there. It's just up on the ridge up there. Because that's one of the major things I came for yesterday. And I, I don't know whether the the footage is audible so uh, we'll get up on the ridge have a look at the bandstand that big lump of cheese granite cheese uh, just before we head home <laughs> look at this
a load of ravens over there. What do they call a load of ravens? I know you get murder of crows, you got skein of geese. What do they call ravens? Collection of ravens. Is there any such term? Lovely. I, I love to hear them barking on the moor. It's got that. It creates a winter atmosphere. There's that big ship down in Plymouth Sound. There's the carnage that is uh, the China Clay Works. Look at that scar on the landscape. Look at that. That's a hell of a crater, isn't it? It's just one small part. See it all over there. I'm back here today, which gives me the opportunity to have another look at this stone circle. There is around here a really famous letterbox called the pulpit. I can't find it. I wish my friend Dave was here because he used to be a letterboxer. He sees what I don't see. But this is a great stone circle with a double stone row. Lovely that the cattle and the ponies are, are in it. But it's got this stone here, this one here. And it's known as the arrowhead stone. And you'll see why in a sec. Yeah. I'm sure it wasn't erected as an arrowhead stone. You, you could say that one's more of an arrowhead, but lovely to see these things. I wonder all that stone cutting up there. I wonder what these tours looked like before they started cutting them up for buildings in places like London and up country. I bet they were massive. Oh yeah, there's a load of swallows and house marins that are trying to get a last feed before they head off to Africa. There's loads of them coming in just before they head across the channel. And there's some, some ducks on this. Well, they could actually just be seagulls. But we do have some rare ducks on Dartmoor. And they're really difficult to see. I only ever see them early in the morning. Oh, look, there's a big heron there. But that would be great if they were goosander. Probably just gulls, being so close to the sea. They're doing something unusual where they got the head down, skimming along the water. I wonder if I can get close to them so I can see what they are. They, they might be merganser, they might even be goosander. I'm pretty sure I can see red heads. Yeah, they look like merganser. I mean, that could, these could be goosander. Yeah. She's just, so the female's got a red head. The male is the interesting one, so I'm guessing that'll be them over there. Like I said, a really difficult bird to see on the moor. I only ever see them on the dart. I've seen them at uh, uh, Meldon Reservoir. We don't get mer mergansers up here, they're coastal birds. So that's got to be female goosander. So over there will be a, the, the males will be and they're really really pretty. And they've got a serrated bill. Oh, I do have a pair of binos in the truck. Maybe I'll come back and get a positive ID. 